What is going on guys? So today I'm coming at you guys with another video about basic training and specifically how to actually not get in trouble with the drill sergeants when you're at basic training. So obviously you're not going to be able to go through basic training without getting smoked, without getting in trouble, period. Because when you're there, when you're at basic training, a lot of times there's like group like or, or almost every time there's like group like smokings to where if one person screws up then the entire platoon gets smoked and so you you can't really avoid that in a way but I'm talking about how can you contribute to yourself not get in trouble with the drill sergeants not yelling at you with you doing your part to help the entire platoon out to actually not get in trouble themselves and have the platoon have a nice and smooth you know, time as basic, at basic training, or at least as smooth of a time as possible at basic training. First little tip is obviously just do what you're told, guys. So when you're at basic training, drill sergeants are gonna tell you to do something, or your peers are gonna tell you to do something who are in a leadership position, just do what you're told, because that makes the process easier for everybody, and when there's less conflict and stuff going around, when there's less, you know, debate on what to do, and you actually just do what you're told, you know, that's it, unless it's obviously really stupid and there's like a simple way, um, like, I don't know, they're just saying to run around the building five times to get to this one place whenever you could just go to the place, just something ridiculous. But other than that, just do what you're told. Just get it done, get it over with. It'll probably suck. But just, if you do that, then there's gonna be less confusion. You're gonna get things done faster if everybody is just, you know, contributing to the common goal. And then because you're gonna get things done faster, you're going to actually meet the time hacks when you're at basic training. Because when you're at basic training, what's going to happen is every single day, you're gonna have all these different things you have to do. And the drill sergeant will be, time now is, you know, 1446, you have until 1448 to do this, or you have until 1450 to do this and get this done, or go upstairs and be back downstairs. And uh, like, if you're not on the same page, if you don't just do things immediately, if everybody doesn't, you know, actually do what they're supposed to do and they try to argue and fight back or do different things, then you're not going to meet those time hacks. And when you don't meet those time hacks, whenever the drill sergeant says to be back at 1450 and you're back at 1451 well guess what everybody is screwed for the next little bit of time when you're gonna get smoked another little tip that's gonna help you guys out when you initially go to basic training and really kind of at reception you're gonna kind of come across this and that is make sure you call the drill sergeants the commanders the people in the military by their correct rank so when you're talking to a drill sergeant you're gonna be able to see that they have their cap on call them drill sergeant right call another sergeant a regular sergeant so you don't want to call a drill sergeant sergeant and you don't want to call a non -sar uh, drill sergeant um, a drill sergeant and then also like a lot of times people will get confused with certain ranks and symbols and stuff like that so make sure like you know the difference between like a first sergeant and a master sergeant so like if you come across your first sergeant you actually call them first sergeant because that is something that will get people, especially at the beginning of basic training, you will get yelled at. If you call a drill sergeant a sergeant uh, and you're not really thinking about it, you're not really paying attention or whatever, then they're gonna come at you like, like that's like that's like just one of the things. Like if you call a drill sergeant a sergeant or if you call them by their name, because you don't wanna call anybody by their name, you call them by their rank when you're at basic training. So drill sergeant, you call them, that is like their name and or rank. And you know, if you have a captain or whatever, you call them sir. So depending on the rank, you don't call them their name. So if it's Drill Sergeant Thomas or whatever, you don't wanna say Drill Sergeant Thomas, you wanna call them Drill Sergeant. And that's gonna save you a lot of getting yelled at for a little bit of time, getting smoked, dropping and doing push-ups and stuff like that at the beginning of basic training because that, it honestly takes people just a little bit of time. But if you have that in your head, right from the get-go, then maybe it can help you guys out a little bit when you're at basic training. Another little tip that's gonna help you guys not get in trouble at basic training, that's gonna help your entire platoon not get smoked as much as a platoon, and that is to assign jobs. Make sure people have certain jobs and positions, uh, things that they need to look out for every day on a daily basis. Maybe you can rotate these positions and stuff because when you're at basic training, there's a lot of people, a lot of confusion, there's a lot of Oh, well, I thought this guy normally does this, or my battle buddy normally does this, or, you know, my battle buddy checked the locker last time, and, you know, he's supposed to be the one who makes sure 
that it's locked. So make sure you assign positions. So my drill sergeant at basic training, or at least the head drill sergeant, he was really OCD about things being in order and all of our boots and shoes and shower shoes and all our bunks and everything had to be like perfectly lined up. And if they weren't perfectly lined up, then we were gonna get in trouble. And so what we eventually decided to do is I basically assigned, because I was the platoon leader, I basically assigned different people, different jobs that you could keep track of because it's not good enough to just say, hey, battle buddies, check each other. It's not good enough to do that. Like your bunk mate that you're with, like every now and then might check your stuff, but like, it's not good enough to just say, hey, battle buddies, check each other because that just doesn't happen. But what you need to do is assign people, or if you're not in leadership, like bring this idea up to somebody, like assign people to do certain jobs. So every morning before you go down to formation, have one person ensure that all of the weapons are gone, that everybody has a weapon and that you're not leaving a weapon upstairs because that'll happen and that is a really bad thing to do. So do not leave a weapon by itself. So if somebody goes to sick call in the morning or if they go anywhere and they do anything and they, they don't bring their weapon with them, then make sure that somebody else is responsible for that weapon. Somebody else has the job of making sure all the weapons are gone and with everybody else, right? Also make sure for, in our case, that every single boots and shoes were uh, basically in order. So I had two people on different sides do that. Another thing is that you need to just do a real quick check and make sure all the lockers are actually locked because y'all know, I mean, if you haven't heard already, like if you leave your lockers unlocked at basic training, there's a very high likelihood that your entire locker is gonna be dumped. There's a, a another likelihood that everybody in the entire platoon's locker is going to be dumped. They're going to go around with bolt cutters and they're going to cut everybody's you know, locks. They're going to dump it. They're going to flip the beds. They're going to do all this crazy stuff. All because you left your locker unlocked. And you're going to learn that pretty quickly. That Sometimes people will do that. And if you have one person, two people, whatever, going around on a daily basis in the mornings when everybody leaves the barracks and their job is just to do a quick scan and make sure all the lockers are actually locked. And that's going to save you a lot of heartache when you're at basic training. Obviously, there's a few other things that could cause you to get in trouble by drill sergeants and that is disrespecting the drill sergeants or if you're in a formation and you're at the position of attention and you're moving around and stuff like that, don't do those kind of things, like the basic things that you shouldn't do whenever you're, you know, as a soldier at basic training that will cause the drill sergeants to come at you. Um, you don't want to go and talk to a drill sergeant and be speaking to him in the wrong position. So a lot of things people will do or sometimes people will get confused they'll talk to a drill sergeant not at parade rest you want to make sure you're at parade rest when you're talking to a drill sergeant you want to make sure you're at the position of attention when you're talking to an officer and you're if you just happen to be talking to an officer and a drill sergeant at the same time you know it kind of will get confusing so you want to make sure well, I mean, it's really not that confusing, but when you're in a high stress situation, some of the things, these things will get to you. So if you're going back and forth, talking between officer, you know, drill sergeant, officer, drill sergeant, and you're not going to, you know, the proper positions that you're supposed to be going to, calling sir and drill sergeant, that is something that could trip you up. So, you know, keep those little simple things in mind if the first situation comes across you like that where you're talking to multiple different people of different ranks that can really trip you up so make sure you're standing at the right position when you're talking to ncos and officers and you're actually calling them by their proper name drill sergeant sir sergeant one other thing that's gonna help you out when you're at basic training and this is actually a pretty big one and that is don't talk directly to the drill sergeant first right so if you want to ask the drill sergeant about mail don't just go up to a drill sergeant and say, hey, you know, when's our mail coming in? Or have you gotten mail yet? Don't do that. The person that you should talk to is your squad leader. Then they can go to the platoon sergeant or your platoon leader in basic training. So like this, the leadership there in the platoon. So people would come to me and ask me about mail and then I could go and then talk to the drill sergeant because in the military, you want to utilize your chain of command. So you're going to have teams, you're going to have squads, and then you're going to have your platoon leadership. So your platoon leader, platoon sergeant, and you want to go up that chain of command. So if you have no leadership position and you have team leaders at basic training, then you could ask your team leader, say, hey, uh, do you know whenever we're getting mail? 
And then the team leader could be like, no, I don't know, but I'll ask the squad leader. Team leader asks the squad leader. Squad leader, do you know when we're getting mail? No, but I can ask the platoon leader. Platoon leader asks the, or the squad leader will then ask the platoon leader, do you know when we're getting mail? And he'll say no. And like, you know, maybe he hasn't asked the drill sergeant for that day or something. So then they can then talk to the drill sergeant because you will get in trouble, your platoon will get in trouble. And then from experience, the platoon leader of the platoon will get in trouble when you go around the leadership and go and speak directly to the drill sergeant. So don't do that. The only time you should ever talk to a drill sergeant without going through the proper chain of command is if the situation is causing harm to life, limb, or eyesight. So if your life is in danger, if your limbs are in danger of getting of losing a limb or your eyesight is in danger you're in danger of losing your eyesight then go and talk to your drill sergeant and they're going to tell you that so don't talk to me unless it's life limb or eyesight other than that use your chain of command to talk to the drill sergeants okay because it'll get really annoying really fast with you getting yelled at the platoon leaders getting yelled at all this kind of craziness stuff going on if you don't actually use the proper chain of command so that's a really big thing that you want to keep in mind when you're at basic training it'll make your life easier and especially your platoon leader's life easier because for me man did i hate it when people will go around people ask for mail every day and i've talked about this before in past leadership videos but people will ask for mail like 50 freaking times a day right and i'll be like drill sergeant said we don't have mail today and then they'll go around me and ask the drill sergeant if we have mail and then guess who's in trouble everybody so don't do that don't go around the leadership i've said it 50 times because this is really important don't do it so that is it for this video obviously there could be a few other things that you could use or uh, keep in mind to not get in trouble when you're at basic training or to decrease the amount of times that you get smoked but these are a few little tips that you guys can utilize or remember when you're at basic training to help you guys out so if you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you want to stick around for some more of my basic training army related videos my experiences all that jazz you can hit that subscribe button that would be awesome and if you want to ask me any questions the comment section is down below like you know down here so leave your comments down below and if you want to hit me up on instagram or snapchat as always my links are in the description below hope you guys have a great day and i will see you guys later Drop.